Hi, uh, Dave Thomas here from Advanced Audio Microphones and talking with George Whitten today about microphones for voice actors. Um, back in the 80s I had uh, um, several projects we worked on with uh, voiceover actors and the microphone of choice back then was the U87 microphone and as a matter of fact I had to buy four of them one week because we got a contract to, uh, to do this cartoon series and uh, they specified U87 microphones and so one of the things I went after when I got into got pulled back into building microphones um, was that I went after a, an 87 version that was affordable and so I came up with my CM87 microphone which has the same response as the U87 but one of the things I learned back in the 80s was that my the AKG414 mic would take way more level than an 87 uh, you can put it on percussion and drums and and the 87 wasn't as good as, as handling those big transients so we use what we did is we built a mic that has the 414 circuit but the 87 response which really works well in voices now when you're working with um, voice actors they're not always speaking in this kind of level Off, often you get them just going what's that or the next minute the uh, they're going ah, screaming as loud as they can because that's in the script so you need a microphone that has a huge dynamic range and so our 87 will actually has more dynamic range than the original 87s which were basically designed for spot miking small orchestras uh, so so that's the and we we go after it's the same exactly the same it has a cardioid pattern figure eight and omni and, and there's a pad on it which you don't you really need for voice uh, recording but but it will it will handle that guy that's that's got that you know he's, he's doing that affected um, mid-rangey alien kind of voice for some cartoon and, and without getting nasty but it'll still allow it to cut through through your mix where you've got you know all those sound effects behind there and the music so so that so that's uh, you know, how I went about uh, you know working the 87 it really was my f I went after it for for voiceover actors as well as it works for rock and roll singers and uh, I think uh, um, Jack Roy King used it on all the guitar amps on the last Kings of Leon record, so it does that well, but it's also a great microphone for voice actors. If you want a, something a little darker and warmer than, than my CM48, well, what, the CM48 is like based on a microphone that Neumann never made, and they should have. It's uh, like a 40, it has a K47 capsule, like the, like the CM, like the U47 FAT, but we added the three pattern options and uh, we we um, and it has the same circuit as my 87, so it still will take lots of level. Uh, but it, but the rise in the high end is is almost it, flat at 10k. It's maybe up a dB and a half, and it has a little more rise in the 3 to 5k. So it'll give somebody just a little more presence in that 3 to 5k range. It has about a 2 to 3 dB rise, and a little less up at the up at the top. The other mic that's uh, quite often used occasionally on, on voice actors is the 414. It works. It works really well. Um, one of the series we were doing, we used to use the 414 on a, a child act voice actor, you know, like a 12-year-old. And so it, it it has a little more rise up on the high end, and it starts to rise a little bit earlier. So it's very good for um, uh, for for some female vocals and, and for, for younger voices, we found. All right. Appreciate it. Okay. okay.